me so tough And I don't wanna take a turn on the world But I go love you Yeah, I'm gonna love you I'll give you the world Of what I've got The fans and fans, baby, I have not It's gonna love you Last week on Sailing Ruby Rose, after a 16-day journey, we arrived in Horta. We explored the area, repaired the jib and prepared for our next and final leg to mainland Portugal. Oh, and the moustache is finally gone. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. As you can see, the blue stuff is out again and the big golden globe that lights my soul and my face up. So basically, over the last, we've been here five days, we've had about four and a half days of dense kind of like mist and rain. And we were waiting for this weather window, so we're having one last breakfast of coffee and orange juice, and then we're gonna head off and we've got our last thousand miles to do, hopefully take about eight days and then we'll get into Portugal. So that's what we're gonna do, so brilliant. Off we go, ready to drop our lines. Just need to check out and uh, eat first. After only four days in Horta, we made the tough decision to continue our journey to mainland Portugal. We knew that we'd only seen a fraction of what this amazing archipelago had to offer. However, we had three good reasons for continuing on. One was that our cruise shiner had to get back to the UK. Two is that we really wanted to complete the ARC rally. And three is that Nick and I also had a flight to catch and we wanted our long journeys to be behind us when we got on that flight. We had a great weather window ahead of us. We decided to take the opportunity while it presented itself. And with that in mind, we set off on our third and final leg of Atlantic crossing. Oh, well, we're away again. And we're away, that's right. That's a very pretty little island. Very beautiful. It's a very good ham and cheese toastage. <laughs> it's, it's a spectacular ham and cheese toastage. It's a very nice chocolate cake. I think it's the first time we've actually been out and seen the actual, you know, the top of the island. Actually, it's the first time we have seen it, you're right, mate. Alright, we've had a really beautiful day of motor sailing. Uh, we've made it 39 miles um, since we left, which was about 11 o'clock this morning, and it's now 8 pm. Sun's just about to go down, and uh, in about an hour's time, I'll take over my watch. But looking forward to our first night at sea. Looks like it's going to be a really nice evening and uh, hopefully we will get some sleep. Middle of the road It's just a feeling of a distant melody unknown I was doing fine Minded my own business till the day you took me home. You came into my life like a sweet embrace, swept me off my feet and made me whole again. You came in my life. I wanna see your face. Never will I be be the same again. So we are almost at the halfway mark, we're on day number four. Um, the weather has been pretty consistently cold and cloudy since we left uh, Horta. Um, and we have started off with a little bit of wind, but now it's died off pretty much completely, so we're just motor sailing. Which is a bit of a bummer, but at the same time, you know, at least the boat's fairly comfortable, everyone's getting loads of sleep um, and plenty of rest. And, uh, yeah, it makes life on board a little bit easier when the motion of the boat isn't quite so rolly. So to celebrate halfway, I'm gonna make some pancakes for everyone. Shina's just taken over watch, it's nine in the morning, um, and I believe Nick is asleep. So I'll get started on the pancakes and hope that by the time I finish them, then um, at least two thirds of us will be ready to eat them. Nothing. Nick's still asleep. 
I better not wake him up, otherwise he'll be uh, really grumpy, even if it's for pancakes. So I'll just let him uh, heat his pancakes up later when he gets up. But another very exciting thing is that there's some blue sky outside. The sun's finally came out after like three days of just a thick length of cloud. We finally have some sunshine. So today is looking awesome. Pancakes, sunshine, halfway point, and everyone's well rested. Happy days. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Oh, I'm right. This is a nice surprise. Very much subject to weather. Weather is special. Now, how are you today? Tired. Did you not sleep well last night? I did, I'm just tired. How are you tired? Well, I woke up like three minutes ago. It is Teresa's birthday today. Um, unfortunately, there is uh, not a great deal we can do for her on the boat that's rolling around for her birthday. But uh, things today that I'm going to do, she's requested coffee, so I'm just doing her a coffee. She's had her present, which was and some cards, and I'm going to try now and make her birthday cake. So. Uh, Wish me luck with that, eh? So there we go. Icing cakes at sea. Volume one. Well, I suppose it's the best we could do. Under the circumstances, we're in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. The sun's out, so there you go. Anyway, we'll have that for birthday tea. They even have candles. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. All right. All right. Wait, I need to make a wish. Alright, okay, make your wish. Uh, Can't tell anyone your wish. Yeah, 
movement's going to build a little bit to 20 knots. Yeah. Uh, so this is where our little blue position is here. Twin light winds. For the moment we've got it nor nor west. Light. And then it's going to build to northerly. So tomorrow night through Wednesday. So that's 15. By the time we get to like Wednesday, we've got 20 knots. But it's still nor nor west. But we're up here. We've got to drop down a little bit. So we should be able to put a little bit of south in our course, which takes it hopefully off the beam. So as long as we got it back to the beam, it will be slightly more comfortable. Plus the swell will hopefully come down with us. And that's Wednesday night. And then Thursday, it kind of by the time we get around here, it dies off. Yeah. That's it really. All right. Well, that looks alright. Yeah, it does look alright. Yeah. Yeah. It's present day. Yeah, yeah. It's about the police officer. about 100 miles to go before we reach our waypoint and our waypoint is about I think about 20 miles away from Lagos so hopefully we'll arrive tomorrow around about lunchtime and um, yeah this will all be over <laughs> as you can see the weather is not particularly nice at the moment it's um, cold it's grey it's raining um, it's kind of windy it's like 17 knots on the beam and the swell is just really choppy and unpleasant. Um, so we're all kind of a bit sleep deprived and just looking forward to getting in really. Yeah, it's only in the last day or so that this kind of shitty weather's picked up and um, it's been become less enjoyable. I think we're all looking forward <laughs> to getting in. <laughs> oh, that one got me in the face. Um, getting in and having a beer and a nice meal out somewhere at a restaurant and uh, just spending a bit of time tied up in a marina um, and cleaning and recovering. Today got off to a really inauspicious start. I got up at 9 o'clock for my watch and I just went to get myself some cereal. The way that everything is kind of stacked in the cupboard I had to take about three things out before I could get to the cereal. Anyone who lives on a boat knows exactly what I'm talking about. And uh, I was doing a bit of a juggling act and I lost my footing uh, and I kind of got un unbalanced as a wave hit the boat. And I didn't quite manage to regain my footing until, and then another wave hit the boat and uh, I went flying. I literally went flying across the boat. And that wasn't even the worst part of it. The worst part of it was that the, um, rolled oats, the jar of rolled oats that I had in my hand, I, I lost my grip on, so the oats went everywhere. Um, yeah, I think I hit my head because I've discovered a breeze on my head. <laughs> I don't know where that came from, I'm assuming it was this morning. And um, yeah, I had a big mess to clean up. So that was, that was the start of the day. And uh, unfortunately things haven't improved that much, but at least I haven't gone any worse, not on wood. Well, it's uh, hopefully the last morning that we're going to be at sea for a while. Um, We've had a fairly average couple of days out here. Uh, the wind picked up to 25 knots, which in itself isn't too much of a bad thing, but the swell the sea state has been bloody horrible. Um, no one's really slept for 48 hours. It's uh, freezing cold, um, but we can see land and there's land. There is land over there somewhere. I cannot tell you. Things I'm looking forward to. Number one, in about an hour, 
we round Cap St. Vincent, which is the southwesternmost point of Portugal. And hopefully, at that point, the swell will drop off because the swell is coming from the north and we'll be out of the swell, which everyone's going to breathe a sigh of relief. And then hopefully after that, within a couple of hours, a couple more hours, we will have reached uh, that Lagos uh, and we'll tie up and that will be us done. So we are in Portugal. We are in Portugal at last. We are about 15 miles away from the entrance to Lagos and I tell you what, I could not be happier. I think that this particular passage has been pretty good overall but unfortunately the last probably 36 hours have not been much fun. Um, we've just been kind of getting about 20 knots on the beam and some fairly sloppy swells as well. Um, so it's been pretty uncomfortable. Uh, last night I actually did get some sleep and I think that was just pure exhaustion. My body just gave up and was like, I'm sleeping no matter what. Um, but yeah, being tossed around has not been fun. Um, and it's been grey and it's been raining and it's just been the type of weather that it's just not fun to sail in. But, you know, we're here, um, we made it, or at least in 13.1 miles we would have made it. And uh, it feels very, very strange in a good way to be back somewhere that we've already sailed to before. Um, you know, we've rounded this cape before, it's all familiar. Uh, we know exactly where we're going, we know the marina we're going to and that's a really nice feeling. So we're all excited about tying up and uh, getting the boat straight and then going out and having a decent meal somewhere. But this is one of the highlights, arriving in a new country by boat never gets old. It's just the best feeling and uh, I'm pretty, pretty bloody excited. Crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Like crazy. Yeah. So incredibly, uh, two hours after I last talked to you, we are down to three knots of wind. We're in the lee of the land now. So it's flat calm. Temperature has jumped 11 degrees. Um, I managed to get some breakfast, get a shower, and get a caffeinated beverage, and I feel 100% better. So yeah, we should hopefully be tying up in the next hour. I've got to dodge a couple of uh, whale watching boats for the tourists, but apart from that, all good on board. Well, we've spent 29 nights at sea, 29 days at sea. We have covered 3,700 miles. We've had all sorts of weather from essentially this, which is the calmest, to probably, we had 30 knots, but I think the worst weather was actually last night. I think this has been the, the most uh, varied 24 hours we've had. We, were, we knew, we were told that this wasn't the easy way to cross the Atlantic, like the return trip, and it wasn't. I thought the sailing was average at best. So if I'm looking at the entire trip, I didn't think the sailing was... was it wasn't like, woo, look how fast we're going. It's like, look, look how slow we're going. However, to put positives on it, firstly, we got here. That's like the biggest thing. We got here safely. I was surprised, although probably you say you weren't surprised, at how bad the weather was, as in how cold it was. Yeah. But I kind of thought, probably naively, that, you know, mid-June, like Southern Ocean, Southern, Southern Portugal, it would be warm. This is the warmest we've had since we left Bermuda. Yeah. Um, I thought it was, I did think it was just, it was cold. And to tell you the truth, over the last eight days, you know, every day I found myself putting more and more layers on. Like, by last night I had a t-shirt, two sweatshirts, uh, a padded jerkin, and um, some fairly heavy sailing gear on. And then coming out with a hat, two hoods, a neck warmer, and a blanket. And still freezing my ass off. Yeah, but you're a precious little flower. I am a precious little flower. I thought the highlight of the trip was Bermuda. I thought, I thought Bermuda was a fantastic place. And because of its geographic position, um, I don't think you'd ever see it unless you were going out that way by boat to go home. 
want to come to Europe. Europe so, holiday. Yeah, but, but you wouldn't sail there, would you? No. Unless you were doing a race to Bermuda no. and back? Yeah. So I'm really pleased that we saw Bermuda. I kind of hope that we at some point would go back to Bermuda, but I'm not sure if we ever will from the sailing point of view. So Bermuda was a gem. I thought the Azores were beautiful. I thought what we saw at Porter. Unfortunately, it was under a cloud for yeah, most of the time there. But the time that we did see it, I could see how it would be beautiful. But yeah, overall, I'm just really happy to be in Europe again. Just want to get tied up and you know sink a few cold ones. Yes. Next week on Sailing Ruby Rose, we are back in Europe. We celebrate finishing the Arc Europe Rally and then we explore beautiful Lagos in southern Portugal. If you enjoyed watching this episode, then give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. See you next week.